So I'll just start by introducing myself. I'm a Diablo 3 player that goes by Archon the Wizard. I make YouTube videos, and we have one of the biggest Diablo 3 live streams on Twitch.tv. I stream about 8 to 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, and we have about 1,000 concurrent viewers. Uh, but let's be honest, Diablo 3 streams are kind of hurting right now. Recently on the live stream, we've been talking a lot about this Marvel Heroes game. At first, we thought it was just another one of those action RPGs that are coming out, like Path of Exile and Grim Dawn. As I started to look more into it, watch some YouTube videos, and watch that live stream with Athene, I realize this is the game I've been waiting for for a while now. Now don't get me wrong, we all love Diablo 3, I mean we play it all day long, but most of us kind of agree that it needs some work. We're kind of just waiting for Blizzard to do what they need to do to make Diablo 3 the game that we wanted it to be when it first came out. In fact, I was able to poll some of my viewers the other day and 55% of them said that they're bored with Diablo 3 right now. So a little over half of these Diablo 3 players are saying they're bored with Diablo 3 and we're looking for more. Either more from Diablo 3 or more for some other game out there. It's no secret to anyone that watches me that I have some criticism about Diablo 3. I say it all the time on my YouTube videos and on the Twitch live stream that Diablo 3 needs some real end game content. It needs skill trees for each of the classes. It needs to get rid of the real money auction house. And the best in slot gear should be bound to you. And as I was learning more about Marvel Heroes, I realized that it has all of it. All those things that I wish was in Diablo 3 are in Marvel Heroes. So maybe Diablo 3 is going to be where we want it to be in the future, but Marvel Heroes gets it now. I haven't been this excited for a new game to come out since they announced they were making Diablo 3. Now most of us, including myself, haven't actually played the game yet. I just bought the $199 Founders Pack, and so I should be getting a closed beta key within the week. But I was talking about the game with all of my viewers. I did a poll, and 79% of them say they plan on playing the game. That's a pretty big percentage, I think, from Diablo 3 players, so we're all really excited about it. All I really had to tell them was that it's an action RPG that was made by the creator of Diablo 2. Because even though the opinions about Diablo 3 are all over the place, we all seem to agree that Diablo 2 was a great game. So at this point, you're probably wondering what the point of this YouTube video is. I really think that Marvel Heroes is going to blow up. Maybe it's too early to call, but I really think that Marvel Heroes is going to be one of the biggest games out there. It has everything it needs to succeed. It's completely free to play, and I think it's really going to give action RPG fans what they've been looking for. And bottom line, we want to be a part of it. I know that one of your priorities is making sure that Marvel Heroes is really big on Twitch, and we just want to do our part to make sure that happens. I really think we could help. Right now, the live stream on Twitch is just a Diablo 3 stream. Every once in a while, I'll play other games, but 95% of the time, I'm playing Diablo 3. But I asked my audience, I asked the viewers the other day, how many of you would be okay with us playing Marvel Heroes in addition to Diablo 3? If Marvel Heroes is as fun as we think it's going to be, how many of you guys would be okay with us splitting the stream, Diablo 3 and Marvel Heroes, and 83% supported the idea. I think 83% is a pretty big number. We've never had this kind of support for a game other than Diablo 3, and so I do plan on streaming the game a lot. Now, I know currently there's an NDA, so we can't stream or make YouTube videos yet, but I'm going to be playing the hell out of the closed beta, and I want to stream it as soon as possible. In fact, if there's any way that we could stream it before the NDA is lifted, we would be insanely excited about that. We're all so excited about this game and we really just want to do whatever we can to spread the word, share that excitement, and get other people into this the way we are right now. So I'm just going to go out on a limb here. If you or your devs ever want to stop by the stream or hop on Skype or just talk through email, we would love that. We think this game's going to be really successful and we just want to be a part of it. Thanks for watching the video. It means a lot and we hope to hear a response.